So here we are with our Photofly Travel Club at the top of Woo! the Swiss Trail. This is our fearless leader, Brett. What um, what's the name of this peak here? Uh, we are on Sugarloaf Mountain, Sugarloaf which Mountain. is in Boulder County, and uh, the neighborhood up here is called Sugarloaf Estates. And uh, one of the reasons we came up here today was uh, it gives us great vistas of the uh, the plains and the Continental Divide. Normally, today unfortunately it looks like we've got a lot of smoke in here as a result of forest fires from other states. But uh, if we if we look up here off to the right, we'll see a tallest peak that we've kind of been uh, using as, as a, um, a landmark all week long. That's called Long's Peak. It's uh, in Rocky Mountain National Park. It's uh, 14,256 feet high. It's the furthest north of the 54 peaks in Colorado that are 14,000 feet or higher. So as we, as we pan over to the left from Long's Peak, there's Chief's Head and Pagoda Peak. We continue over, there's a basin up in there called Wild Basin, and then this big round-topped mountain on the far skyline is Mount Audubon, which is part of the Indian Peaks Wilderness Area. And most of the peaks of the Indian Peaks Wilderness Area are hidden by this ridge called Niawat Ridge uh, in the foreground. That's where we were on Tuesday, and then we continue to the left, and we get up into um, the uh, 4th of July Hesse area of uh, uh, Eagle, uh, excuse me, the um, Indian Peaks Wilderness area. And the peak, the tallest peak on the left with kind of a very dirty glacier down below it, that's uh, North Arapaho Peak and Arapaho Glacier, which historically provided water to the city of Boulder. Very cool. And then for you guys off camera, um, you can see more of the railroad grade coming down the hill gently and then coming back up the other side of the, the, the valley uh, in the mid distance. So this is wrapping up our Colorado Rockies hiking trip with uh, quite a stunning view.